Montevilla Neighborhood Association took place tonight, but without the intense division or contention that a lot of people expected. Yes, yeah, some former members say there has been a lot of infighting and political tension within the group and neighborhood lately. Our Andrew Dimber was at that meeting. Now he's here to explain what exactly happened, Andrew. Yeah, well, Jennifer, Jeff, people have been uneasy about this vote for a while now, especially after the controversial conservative demonstrator Joey Gibson said that he would show up. People were also concerned that members of Portland's Antifa group were trying to take over, but none of that was the case tonight. The nominations are closed. The vote for new Montevilla Neighborhood Association members took place Monday night without the conflict or friction many in the standing room only crowd expected. It was a perfect example of democracy in action. Up for grabs, all 11 seats on the neighborhood board. Leading up to the elections, some feared politics were playing a part in this apolitical organization. None of the controversies or uh, issues that we were worried about, and no violence, no even raised voices at anybody. It was really great. Candidates were given two minutes to sway voters. Most, if not all, checked their politics at the door. My name's Amanda Rhodes. I am not a politician. Those running included local renters, home and business owners, and Max stabbing survivor Micah Fletcher. We have to stand together. I don't have an ideology. You want to know what my politics is? I don't. I hate it. I didn't even want to do this. I'm doing this because I don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Now, the association doesn't have any governing power. Its main purpose is to serve as a way for the community to communicate with City Hall. That's why most people we talked to say they appreciated that the candidates seem to care more about the neighborhood than any political agenda. This is actually the largest uh, community in Portland and is very diverse. And um, I, th I think we did a great job today of just, of just showing that we could get along and show that we could vote and, and have it not be divisive. And so those votes just came in. Jennifer Jeff appears as though Micah Fletcher will be on the board. There will be a minor recount tomorrow. However, it doesn't appear that it affects his seat. Back to you in the yeah, studio. That's what neighborhood and community is all about, getting involved. Andrew, thank you.